And the RR is relatively high recoil. No, it doesn't. Compared to other guns, no, it doesn't. Any mutants, AK is lower. You know, like, the recoil number? Like, this number is not a global stat. 89 recoil on an MDR is not the same as 40 recoil on a mutant. They are not global numbers. They are unique to each gun. You can't look at it and go, oh, it's double recoil. That's not how it works. Here's hella jumpy because you don't crouch when you shoot. If there's a guy in this doorway and I'm fighting him and I'm standing in the open, I can move to a weird angle and just crouch. You wanna know why that works? Bro, do you get headshot more if you're crouching? No, I don't. What do you think holds back most players in fights? There's kind of a few things. I feel like the first one being like not taking enough right hand peeks. A lot of people have problems managing weapon recoil and they don't crouch enough. You can take off angles as well. That's something that's like really, really, really good to help you kill players. It catches them off guard. Little things like movement. I know movement sounds like complicated and there's so many advanced like b-hop and parkour things you can do, but like there's so many basic movement things that'll help you win more fights and it's more about putting yourself in the right position to actually take a peek versus like doing something crazy and flashy. Fire rate depends. There's also hidden stats on each gun. Do you crouch every time you're shooting? Pretty much, yeah. Unless I'm like hip fire swinging an angle. Do you hip fire more close range or aim in? You have to hip fire at close range. You should not aim in. You will die if you aim in. Crouch when you shoot, man. You have to practice pulling down. Like, there are, like, little niche skills in the game. When you shoot guns, they jump like this. That's what my MDR does every time I shoot. You have to pull down every time you shoot. So, like, if I don't pull down, my gun does this. If I pull down, stay on the guy's target. Stay on his head. Don't want to go above his head. I don't know. If I'm running around and I see a guy, I'm like, oh, shit. I'm going to hit fire spray him. There's less recoil when you hit fire, but it's when you, like, aim in as well. People headshot you more crouch. All right, let's, let's go into an offline mode, chat. I don't want to cover for crouching. It's not even sure, though. All right. So, like, when you break down, like, PvP is a basic concept, right? When you're asking what it is, PvP is about f***ing up the enemy player so you don't die. That's what it is, right? So you need to do things that make them not kill you. It doesn't have to be flashy, but it's doing the right things, right? The most basic example of this is taking a right-hand peek. Because when you right-hand peek, you show barely any of your body. And when you left-hand peek, you're not behind cover at all. Basic principle number one. Everything that you do in PvP builds off this concept. If you don't know that, then you're not playing Tarkov right and go watch that video. Now, the thing about crouching is when you think about... Like any FPS game in general, when you're walking around, what are you doing? You are moving your crosshair in a way in which if somebody pops out on your screen right in front of you, you're going to headshot them. I'm walking around with my crosshair at head level so that I can headshot anyone that I see. Now, what does crouching do? Crouching makes someone have to drop their crosshair to kill you. And what does recoil do in this game? It kicks up, right? We got that? So as you're walking around, you are constantly looking to headshot someone at headshot level. When someone's crouching, you're in a weird spot. So what crouching does is it kills your recoil. So you have like one third of the recoil. You know what I can do? I can move to a weird angle and just crouch. You want to know why? You want to know why that works? Bro, do you get headshot more if you're crouching? No, I don't because this guy's going to see me. He's going to see me standing right over there. And he's going to see me at headshot level. And he's going to re-swing the angle looking at headshot level. And now he has to flick to a weird spot, aim down, and fight the recoil all at once. Well, all I'm doing is holding an angle while crouched. It's all about making somebody not aim at you and kill you. That's what everything in PvP is about. That's also why uh, moving fast is, like, super good to, like, get uh, kills in this game. Let's say there's a guy. Uh, I'll use my gun as, like, a marker. Let's say this MDR is a guy, right? Let's say that's a, that's a man. And I want to peek him and he's behind that wall. A lot of people will, like, run around... Like, they might do, like, a little free look. They might go this way. They're going to stop here, and they're going to walk like this. And probably when they're, like, here, they're going to die before even seeing the guy. Probably, like, here. Why that happens is because the game plays out of your right eyeball. So, if you're left-hand peeking, um, peeking your left shoulder out first, they will always see your head, and they can kill you before you can see them because you're playing out of your right eyeball. So, it looks like it's not right-handed advantageous, but it is. So a way around this or any situation like this where you want to push an angle is to not drop your momentum. If you watch me play, which you guys have probably seen a lot of it, I do this a lot. I run past the doorway, I run back, I run this way, and then I swing like that. I never stop running. Why do I do that? Because every time you stop running, you kill your momentum. You have to build it up over five seconds when you're running. So if I want to push a guy and I go this way, then I push like I'm not even full speed and I push him. So what you can do is constantly never stop moving so that when you end up swinging an angle like this, I'm on the screen so fast that it's fair. It makes a left-hand peak fair. It makes a right-hand peak even more broken, too. If I want to push someone in a room, I always want to build up my speed first. If I want to get to cover, I do the same thing. You use your speed to get to places. You need to not drop your speed. It's a very basic principle, but, like, you have to do it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But yeah, that's why crouching is good.
Gives you crouching gives you off angle, reduced recoil. And I guess the last question someone had is like, if someone's on a long angle, what do you do? If you're on long angle, like I don't know, let's say like I'm here and there's someone there, it's just like grenades is like your friend. Cause it's the same bullshit where someone's like holding you in an angle. So what you can do is like you can kind of peek standing up and then you can crouch and you do like an alt E lean, which like this is the quick sidestep. So like you can be standing, they're gonna aim standing. You go crouch and you kind of commit to a spray from that peak. Or you could uh, like throw a nade, like if you have a nade, you like throw it off the wall and it makes them have to move up the angle. And like you kind of retake a weird angle. So I'll do this a lot where if there's someone on this box, throw a nade here, it lands near the box, they back up. And while the nade's there, I like will crouch here and you're like, you're in the open. And it's, he's never gonna like pre-aim here. He's never gonna pre-aim here because uh, it's a weird angle. He's gonna think I'm still on the wall or something like that. And I can just kill him when he comes back in the open. Hey, you wanna fight if you're forced on left hand? It depends. I mean, you're gonna lose a lot of the time on left hand. Like you'll lose more than you'll win. But it's like I said, if you have a chance to, uh, I don't know, let's say I'm here. And I have to left hand a guy that's, uh, let's say like this little thing on the ground is a guy and I have to left hand this, like I'll just run into the wall like this and like I'll crouch halfway through my peak. I'm gonna go this way and I'm gonna crouch. And the reason is like, he's gonna see me teleport onto his screen pretty much and then instantly I'm gonna be crouching. So I'm praying that like he's aiming here and he recoils above my like head when I crouch. That's pretty much like it. I'm praying that he sucks. And also practice like hip firing because hip firing is really important too i'm not going to break down hip firing i have a whole video on that if you want to watch that but the main reason hip firing is really good is because if you're in the open and i need to get to cover i don't want to aim in here because if you look in the bottom left of my the bottom left see my movement speed bar the little uh movement scene slider if i aim in it's reduced by half it takes me twice as long to get from where i am now to cover than if i just hip fired so what you want to be doing is hip firing while moving to cover because you get to cover faster and you're still hitting your shots because hip fire is super accurate in this game and you're hit punching the guy because when you're hitting them you are hit punching them so their fucking aim is like this the whole time i'm trying to shoot you they can't hit shit so you want to be hip firing as you get to cover and now you're behind cover on a right hand peak and now you can actually peek them and you're behind cover you won't die it's all about getting to a spot where they won't kill you and not being someone's crosshair that's like the main tips that i would give anyone like, any of those things, if you apply them, will make you a better player. Oh, also this, I'm sure you guys know this, but if you ever need to reload, if you ever think, I need to heal, but I also gotta reload, which do I do? Always do both. Because when you're healing and you put your gun away, you can right-click install your mag. You also, too, can, like, just heal bait like that. Like, sometimes if I have to, like, heal, I'll heal bait, I'll heal, reload, and then cancel the heal, and they'll push me. And then I'll kill them while they're pushing me. Shooting and moving is the same recoil as shooting and standing. The only difference is your, is your gun sways. Like, your, your reticle will sway as you're moving. But as long as you're not AD strafing, it won't go crazy. You just need to move in one direction. 